Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I am the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. Look at Jeffrey, Mr. Showoff up here. He's on a big old boulder. We're out getting stone. We've we've picked up metal. We've got the wood, and we've got the thatch. We just need a bunch of stone so we can make a whole bunch of foundations. So I got these guys out here following me around. Jeffrey's got a pretty good carry load on him. I've got him pretty much filled up right now. Oh, and by the way, it's best to have him on, if you're going to do this configuration, on the medium setting. On the low setting, he gets so close that he keeps banging into the cart, and then he wants to spin around and stuff. It happens quite often. So I put him on medium follow instead. He's got those long legs, you know? And he wants to follow Bluto, not Bluto and the cart. So it kind of pulls him too close. Oh, oh, look at that. I used it up. We don't even have a full load on Bluto yet. Well... Hmm. He's got some on him, but not as much as I wanted. I, I should have watched that closer. But anyways, Jeffrey's pretty loaded up. He's he's actually doing really, really well. So uh, we've got that, and I've the other ingredients I have, so we should be able to make a whole bunch of uh, foundations. I managed to get the dock stretched out. This is really good news. Come here. Let's see if Jeffrey can get through. He has trouble. Lots of trees, you know. Jeffrey is, is not fond of being up here in the forest. He has a difficult time getting around. Maybe we can pull him this way a little bit and he'll be... He's trying. He's really, really trying hard to get over here. Oh, see, just his, his radius is... Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Here he comes. There you go, big guy. You made it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You're my first giraffe ever of ever of ever of ever. Forever and ever. There we go. Look at this. The dock is stretched out to there. I could get it out to that far right now. So I just need a bunch of stone foundations. Let's go to first person. Let's bring her. Let's bring Jeffrey all the way up here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeffrey, don't you fall in that water. Oh, Jeffrey. Oh. That was close, Jeffrey. Real close. Oh, these animals, they're massive, you know. It's just this big. You're better off being in uh, third person here to, to guide them around. Yeah, he's he's a big fella. Whew. Thought we were going to lose him in the lake there for a second. Thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be a pain in the butt getting him out of there. But no, it didn't happen. So here we go. So we've got a bunch of ingredients because we got the gang down here. The whole gang is down here. We did pass Vel, all right? Yeah, there she is. Uh, the gang. We're missing one member of the party, though, and that would be our, you know, our rhino. We need the rhino, because now I'm, I'm having to go out and do the stone thing like this, which isn't bad. I mean, it's not like it's horrible. I've done a lot of it, as you could tell. And let's repair that up. And we're going to go to structures. Let's let that finish, because it's just going to move this over. There we go. Let's go to stone. We can make 100 at least. Ooh, and how many more after that? 120. I'm doing them all. We're doing all of them, and we're going to place all of them today. We've got... Uh, it, it is. It has actually been quite an endeavor, but I managed to get a chunk of it done. Oh, you know what? We've still got Bluto. Bluto's got stuff on him. Yeah, he's got some stuff on him as well. Let's get him over here, and we'll get on Jeffrey. We'll move Jeffrey back a little bit. Put him in the background right here. There we go, Jeffrey. Perfect. And bring Bluto back in. There we go. Just like so. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Everybody is where they need to be. So, let's unload Bluto as well. I tell you, having these guys... Oh my gosh. The resource gathering in, in a night. I've, I've gathered so much stuff. Just so much stuff. Uh, back to structures. Uh, back to stone. Okay, I don't have enough. It's going to be... Oh, it looks like it's be fiber that we're going to be low on. Ooh, really? Uh, okay, let's go fix that real quick. Uh, that's pretty cool because that is the easiest thing to get, is the fiber, indeed. It's just so easy. It's The, the berries kind of make it a pain in the butt, but uh, we just dump the berries. But he picks up so much of the hemp that it works out great. The ferns, you see, did you see the ferns right here in front of me? This is the hemp. The other things give you mostly the berries. And he winds up getting really weighted down with berries after a while. It's really hard to tell what, what's going on here. Can I get up this hill right here? I don't think I can. 
I think I'm trying to drag him into an area that's just not possible for him to move around in. I have chosen the wrong area to gather the fiber. It is too, too many trees back in here. Here we go, right down here. Oh, there's metal nodes right here too. Let's get the fiber. Let's get this metal as well while we're here. Because th that's the always the two things. There's, there's like one node here, there's one there, and there's one up on the hill. These guys, they're back. It took them a little while, but they're back. Uh, did I park right on top of the dang thing? Oh, here it is. So I've been doing just a bunch of gathering, like I said, all night long. The sun went down, I went out, I gathered for the night, and you guys saw you know, what time it is right now. We're still doing some gathering, but I've got enough resource to do some pretty good building, too, I think. We should be able to make some headway on that dock. Come on, Baluto. Right about there, sir. Thank you very much. Perfect, 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 perfect. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, if we take the iron back with us, this would be great. You're encumbered. Yeah, I know, I know. These are small ones. These are the, these are the little nodes. The big ones are just up that first wash that we found that time. Um... You probably got a ton of berries on you. I don't want the oregano either. I can get I can get all this stuff really fast all the time. Uh, so we've got some more fiber. We got some more metal. Let's grab a little bit more fiber on the way back. Might as well. There we go. Beautiful. Pluto. He's perfect. He's just perfect. And we need some of the... Uh, Wild peppers, too. I did not realize it. I keep looking at the animal's um, information, and I look at the animal tame food as their favorite food, but that's only for taming. Outside of that, what they want is... Uh, Jeffrey here, he likes vegetables. He's not a berry guy. He likes vegetables. So we're going to dump those off of him. That's his preferred food, so the potato was probably a good idea. And then we're definitely going to want this off of you. And we could drop that off of there. You can see he is uh, living on Prime. Oh, wow. How come he's... Is it, it must spoil really fast. It does. It spoils really fast, huh? So he's going to have to do some killing. I forgot about that. I thought, well, I'm going to give him Prime. But, yeah, it spoils pretty quick, I bet. Uh, structures. Stone. Another 52. Oh, baby. That is awesome. Let's get over here by the chest, because we're not going to be able to carry all of this. It's very heavy. What do I have? 82 on me, huh? Wow, that's cool. All right, 82. I like that. Oops. I'm encumbered, but I think I can walk. I can. Okay, so let's just leave... Uh, Bluto? Stay right there. That's just the letter Y, by the way, guys. Oh, and, and somebody asked in the comments recently, how do I um, get the uh, get Bluto to go into his his, his, his um, nature's cry mode, his you know his rage, F2. If you look at the bottom of the screen there, you can see we've got F1. That's our dancing. F2 is nature's cry. F3, I'm not sure what that is. F4 is the nature's healing. Uh, the nature's cry, the healing. And I'm not sure what F5 and F6 are. I've not actually looked at those yet to see what they are. But here, F2, Nature's Cry cannot be activated. Why not? Is it, yeah, why can't it be? That's weird. Hmm. I don't know why that is. But let's, uh, let's carry on with what we're doing. We'll just forget about that. We'll check on it later. All right, now I'm excited about getting this kind of finished up I actually got down and I actually did get the foundations to go all the way down to the bottom which was uh, just so cool it's it's way deep but this is gonna be so worth it when it's done it's just this solid you know structure here animals are gonna walk along it just great uh, we're gonna be able to walk over it just great like I can't put this foundation up against that foundation have it stick you've got to start at the bottom and work your way up So this is what I've been doing. Just filling all of this in. You can see it's going to take many, many, many foundations to do this. But that's okay. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. This is, this is good. I'm okay with this. I like this idea. And then what I do is I kind of come back this way. 
And I'm trying to make sure that I remember to fill all of this in because I don't want to not fill this in. It's got to be filled in all the way. It's just going to be super solid. But I'm pretty sure I still don't have enough foundations to even fill this in. Uh, we just went through 30 right there. So we're going to be cutting through these guys just so fast. I should put these on blue though so we can actually take more with us. I wouldn't have to run all the way back here. I can make it. I can do it. Oh, very powerful legs. Very powerful legs. Oh, he's got more metal on him. I forgot about that. Um, that's right. And then he's got the... Oop, I think I'm in the... Yeah, I'm in the wrong thing there. Okay, so we put the fiber in there. What we need is the metal. I'm fairly certain that's probably what we're out of if we want to do more of these. Let's see. Stone. Uh, we're going to be running out of stone. Looks like this is the next thing we're going to be running out of. That's the bummer because, again, that's not me being able... I have to do it with the, uh, the hatchet. We don't have the rhino yet, so that would be very handy to have. Uh, do we have more? Of the, I thought so. Yeah, we do. We've got a bunch more of these in here. Okay, so let's get these last ones on here. And let's take Ludo down to the end of the dock. Oh, Bluto's wow, really? He's got a level. Look at that. Bluto has leveled up again. He's been with us for a long time. I think it's, it's almost at the very beginning. And we've been just putting health on him. That's right, Bluto, because you deserve it, man. We want you to live forever. All right, let's take 40 of these. Number six. I should sink like a rock. <laughs> It looks to me like this is really, really heavy. Yeah, just gotta get this, just kinda make sure we're, we're filling all the gaps in when we go back. Once we get all the way to the back here, it'll be real easy to, uh, you know, fill the rest of this in. You're cold. I'm not. Stop being such a baby. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. And like that. And here we are. We're almost to shore. This is great. We got a low spot right there. We got to fill in and right there. And I think we're going to be good to go. Look at this. Eight left. Now, some of you may think I'm crazy for doing this, and you're right. I probably am a little bit crazy for doing this. But, oh, just rage. <laughs> it's going to look so nice out here. The thing is, man, we've got to do, well, let's see. Let's, uh, we could take, let's move these over here. Let's drop it down to 35. There we go. I'm still in a little bit encumbered, but we're going to lay them fast, right? Right. All right, let's do that. And then let's come back down here, too, again. we got all this to do still. We should probably take care of this first. Got to watch out for the fish. The fishes. And let's go ahead and fill this all the way up to the top. And I've got to go one more up after this. Let's not forget that. Oops, oops. There we go, and up we go. There we are. I used them all, okay. We're getting there, we're filling it in. It's going to take, whew, boy, I don't know how many more of these do you think it's going to take? There we go. Let's try it some more. Well, let's see if we can get the... Let's see what kind of a dent we can get into this thing here today. Underwater building. But bouncing me around the water a little bit. You're cold. I don't stay cold for long once I get out of the water because I've got this fur coat on. 
We're almost, uh, we're, we're getting so close, you guys. That's it. Whew. Holy moly. That's a lot more than what I've got right here. It's going to be that and then some more again. That's okay. Now it's like I have to do it, you know. I just have to fill the whole dang thing in. If I don't, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to know I didn't do it. There we go. And let's finish this row off right here as well. Maybe I could do some of this from just standing up there instead of having to be actually in the water completely. Okay, that's it. That's it. We've done it. Whew. So that's not too many more here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take it back. You know what I want to do is have it actually run into the shoreline eventually. Is what I want it to be is buried into the shoreline. Um, but and I would like to have it do that all along here so that it just comes into the sand and it's nice and even. Then we're gonna have this kind of sandy shoreline kind of seeping in over the dock uh, all along here. So we'll fill all this in so it looks like that. Um, I'm not sure how much of this I'm gonna fill in because we are gonna do a structure over the top of this rock, like I mentioned last episode. So I'm not sure about that right there. All right, what do we need to make? more of these guys. Uh, was I making more or did I finish making all of them? I think I finished making all of them. So what do we need? What is the next? Uh, oh, I can make 14 more. Then what? Uh, it's the stone. Okay, so we're going to be out of stone. So yeah, I'm just going to go out and bust up some stone. I guess we decided that already, huh? It's almost done. We'll place these and then I'm going to run out, of course, and grab up a bunch of more stone because we're gonna need a ton more of it for sure I'll probably take all have to take all the animals out at least one more time today uh, to to get this filled in I would really like to have this filled in and get an idea as to where we're gonna go next with it because it, it to me it, it just seems like a really fun project to work on and I but I've got to have this dock uh, in like so Yeah. Wow, okay. Alrighty, so stone it is, right? Tons and tons of stone. I think I'm just going to use blue dough. I'm getting close to where I need to be, I think, on this. I don't know, I could be completely wrong about that. It's it's This is a lot to, to build. But once we get the, like I said, once we get that foundation and our structures on the side of the dock here are going to be a, a lot of wood. So we can bring wood into it so it's not all stone. Because right now we've got the entire, you know, uh, emerald point layer there all made of stone. So I thought having a little, some wood structures down here on the beach near the dock would make it look really good. One of you mentioned too that a warehouse off of here wouldn't be too bad. And I thought about that. I, I am thinking about that because it would be cool to have a little bit of a place where if we pull up like we did with, um, uh, whatchamacallit there, uh, with the abomination this last time, there was a lot of stuff to unload. If I could store it right in a warehouse down here, I guess what I would have to do is come down here, get it, and bring it all the way up. Or make my complete, all my crafting stations are down here instead of up there. Or I guess I can have both locations. It just seems like a lot to keep stocked all the time so do I store things down here and then come down here when I need all the stuff and bring it up to the lair or do I just bring it straight up to the lair I'm, I'm leaning towards just bringing it straight up onto the lair that's why I'm still thinking about the whole idea of a, a warehouse down here I thought we'd do some kind of uh, just a couple of fun buildings and stuff too you know like the pub and stuff or the inn something like that just for fun um, these stones down here, they don't, you gotta break a ton of them just to get any stone at all. These pink ones are nice because they are just stone. They're stone and, uh, the flint. And you don't get any metal, but, you know, every little bit of metal helps. And if, with your axe, you don't get a whole lot of metal, but uh, there's a couple right there. So that's not too bad, you know, but it does take a little while to gather up the stone. That's why a rhino would be fantastic, right? 
bring the rhino down here too, and then we just bring him in, and bam, he, he gets the stone, and then we get to take it to the metal nodes and get our metal, and then we just, you know, bam, bring him back. Take Velma out, and so on and so forth, and we've got everybody... Bluto. <laughs> that's your face. I thought that was the car to be right there in front of me. Yeah, that's the idea, right? That is the entire idea. All right, guys, I'm going to take a little break. Bust up some more stone with my, my axe here. I'll probably wear this axe down getting stone right now. And then I'll come back and we will continue moving forward with this here giant dock at Emerald Point Lair. And welcome back. Look at there. Right where I'm about to build. Seagull comes flopping in here. Getting in the way. I think he heard me. Get out of here, Seagull. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Look at him go. <clears throat> Okay, all right, that worked out. I didn't have to do nothing to him. He was, he was just, he was just pleasant about the whole thing. Let's go down there with that one, and let's put that one down there. Look at that. Now, I think I'm going to stop this right here and kind of see about what I'm going to do. I don't want to get too close to the rock. I, I didn't mind up at the front because we are going to have uh, a structure up on top of this rock. Um, so I want to just leave that alone and not touch it. Over here, I've got us down on this level, all the way across, and all filled in. It's all ready to go. I mean, this is a huge area. Just a huge spanse of land right here. This is great. Now, I could come with another row, but we start getting some of this stuff showing through here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right there, and it doesn't, it doesn't impede my walking. I don't get, like, hung up on it anywhere right through here. So I'm okay with that right there. I could probably do some wood ramps or something along here just to kind of blend it in. But again, like these rocks, I can't do... Well, maybe I can get this one out of here. You know what? I didn't try. This is a breakable rock. It is. So if I do that there, and I take this guy out of here... Let's see. How does that look? Yeah, there's a little something showing through, but that's okay. You know, it, it's just part of the landscape uh, blending into here. I think that's okay right there. Yeah, and it just kind of spills over the edge, right? Yeah, that works good. So we've got this huge now dock area, which is great. Just great. I'm really happy with this. I'm second-guessing myself on bringing all of this up one more. For the sole fact that I really don't want this to be one big flat level. Now, granted, it'd be a ton of work to get this finished up, but I could do it. I could do it in about an hour. I bet I could have this all finished up, but then I'd have to come back even farther here. Uh, to beat up with the sand. Oh, we're, we're a little sloppy right here. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to keep it down at this level, but we're going to do, uh, we're going to move um, the abomination out a little bit. I want to get a second row of this on, of the wood ceilings on here, and then pull her back in. And then what I want to do is I may take the sails off. I'm not real happy with how the car, how the cargo racks, and you're right, I should, I should leave the two cargo racks on here because it's just going to look really cool down here. So we'll put the two cargo racks back on. It's only, it only each one drops our speed by 10%. So it's just a little tiny bit that it does. And we can have up to four on here if we want to. But I want the sails to fit right. So if I put the cargo containers on first, we take the sails down, we move, reconfigure where the sails go. I want this configuration. I want these three sails. I love having the handling sail in the back. Uh, we'll put the sails in after we put the cargo containers on the front and figure out where we want those to exactly be. I may even decide to put them in towards the back by the ladder. That might not be a bad choice to do either and have this entire front area for the animals to be able to come up and down. They seem to like to come up on this side really, really well. So maybe what I do is I get the cargo containers and I get them figured out back in this area here. We'll put this sail in first and then put the rest of the sails in. We may not have to move uh, these two at all. Maybe just the back one. We've talked about moving that. We can move that one back one more. So if I can get the cargo container to go right here and then move this back one, that would be really great. I just don't want the rope coming through the cargo container. That's the way the rope goes on this thing, huh? Hmm. Because you guys said I can move this back one more. But I don't want those ropes going through the cargo container. So it's going to have to be up here. 
and they fit in between there just fine. So that's where they're going to have to go, I guess. Well, we've got these ropes coming down the side all the time. Do these disappear, these, these angled ropes right here, when we put the cargo containers on? I've not noticed them until just now. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so what's the next step? I need wood, thatch, and fiber. Pfft, wood, thatch, and fiber. We've got to make a bunch of these, these things here uh, so that we can stretch that down. And then what I thought about doing is, um, since the cargo container on the ship pretty much will consume these first two rows of blocks, what we'll do is we'll build uh, a little extra ramp uh, wherever it happens to land. We'll build a ramp here so that the car we can go up with Bluto and just give this whole area a bit of uniqueness to it. Something different. This is a very flat dock, which works just perfect for the Forsaken because we could just ride up, grab the stuff, and go. We're right there by the elevator. This one here we're going to have some fun with because that's a really cool ship. I really love having this ship. So I guess the next step is, yeah, let's see. Do we have, we've got wood thatch, and I think, ooh, you, we might be short on fiber. We might be short on fiber. Let's see here. Uh, I've got 61 of these guys left over. That is fantastic. We always use foundations. Oh, more than that even. Uh, yeah, I've got no wood ceilings down here, and I'm pretty sure I don't have any made up top either. So let's go here. We've not had any storms to, uh, to speak of. There have been no real weather events going on. Uh, that's all the fiber we have, ladies and gentlemen. With ceilings, I can craft 25. Let's do 25. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Uh, Variety just beat me. Let me uh, take a look at that real quick, and then I'll be right back, and we'll get back to work on the, the, the big dock. Just picked up another load of metal coming out of the forest. With Bluto in the cart, indeed. Uh, this is this is working out really great. Uh, I'm gonna like I think having a little bit of structure down on this lower bigger dock We still have to move the abomination back which could take a little bit of time, but shouldn't be too bad But now we've got a definite access right through here. We're good to go I've got a few of the ceilings laid out so you can see the abomination has to move down just a little bit more just a little bit out of the way and uh, we'll have plenty of space to put some kind of a Thing to come up on here to to you know get materials off of the abomination oh by the way uh, I did not show any of it but I used um, Bluto when we unloaded the ship and I was talking about I removed the one cargo container and I was having to bring the other stuff over uh, one of you suggested leaving the cargo containers on and then just shifting it from one to the other but all I did was bring Bluto and the cart on and unloaded from that second cart to there what is there there's a piece of poop stuck in a cart what is that doing there <laughs> can I pick it up? I can. <laughs> okay. There we go. There you go. It's just what just what the doctor ordered. A little bit of poop. There we go. And I'll throw this in here. And I'm gonna drop that because it's disgusting. Jeffrey, taking a look at us. And structures, ship add-ons, and I can make one more of these guys right here. I've made both of them again and I want to put them on the ship so I know where they are that is what I want to do number seven do we like where this guy was placed okay so those ropes don't go away they are there those angled ones because see here what we could do is we can move that back one we could move this one back by one and I think that's okay, where would I prefer having them I would really prefer having them back here. It's it's going to be back this way, and then, then we can put the ramp starting at right about here, where we go up with Ludo and the cart. Come along here, we park, and then we get, come down, but we've got enough space to actually come down and turn, is, is, is what I've really got to think about, too. Uh, so... Oh, are you kidding me? I missed it. <laughs> Get up that ladder. You're cold. Get in that boat. Um, maybe I shouldn't take it off just yet. Maybe I should park the ship and get this situated before I do something like that. Now, I know I can back this up. And I think if I'm careful, I probably could just kind of finagle this in and out a little bit just to 
you know, kind of get it to where it needs to be. I think I can. It's going to take forever, though. Right now I'm backing it up, and it doesn't look like... This is actually really a great spot for this ship because there's so much deep water right here. There are some... Uh, which we call us to jet out a little bit, but nothing too too serious. So now, if I come out a little bit to the right, I should be able to pull forward a little bit and then straighten it back out again. Pull forward. There we go. Pulling forward still. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a bit time consuming, huh? But when we get when we get it down, after coming back a few times, it'll get easier and easier each time. Besides that, we are just sitting here. We're not using sails or anything, so uh, but now we should be able to straighten it out. And let's go forward just a little bit more. I'm not on the high seas, I don't have to worry about that fog event at all. There we go. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Turn it a little bit more to port. Oh, too far, too far, too far. Nice and easy, like. Mm hmm. After this, we're going to want a pot of boiling water. <laughs> if you stayed with me through this, thank you so much. How do we do? We go forward just a little bit more. We're not perfectly straight, but we're good. I'm just hitting uh, right click when I do that. And it gives you kind of an upward view, and then it brings you right back down again. Uh, so that should be good. Let's drop anchor. That should be pretty darn good right there, I think. Let's give it a little jump. Let's put the cargo containers on. We're going to put one right here. Just like that. Let's do it. And then we're going to take that sail out, and I'll remake that sail. Uh, I can actually do this here. I don't have to make this big jump. Let's do this right here. The green arrow should be pointing towards me. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Doc goes underwater just a little bit. Ooh, how we doing? Oh, look at that park job right there, huh? Anchors away, my boy. Look at that. Oh, that'd be co so cool if we could have some floats right here. So the ocean's up a little bit right now. Oh, we got the fog event going on. That's right. Okay, so we got a little bit of water seepage over the dock, which is fine by me. Uh, number seven. We want you directly across from here. That does not block the walkway. So we're going to go with that, and I'm going to replace this sail right here. Uh, handling ship sail large. There we go. I'm going to get rid of that right there, and we're going to put a new one on. I think... I think we made extra sails, didn't we? Um... I could have sworn we did. Hmm. Maybe not. Let's check in here. I don't... I know I've got some sails, you guys. I know I do. I know I've made a couple. Maybe they're up at the up at the base. Up at the uh, Emerald Point Lair there. Maybe that's where they're at. If we can make another speed sail today, that would be fantastic. And then we need just a few more dock pieces here. And then you see, you see how high this is. I believe I have to jump in order to access this. I think I'm just a little too far away from it right there at this level, okay? But, whoop, I think I crouched. I did. Yeah, I can't access that from here. But if I just do a one-block high ramp and then come across here, we could pull Bluto right up next to it, and we're going to have this nice little structure sitting down here on the dock. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. Uh, and, ooh, you know what else I wanted to do? Well, look at you. Hi. You want a strawberry? Hmm? Oh, you're a male chicken. We can't. Well, you know what? What the heck? Let's let's just let's just feed the bugger. He's almost done. <laughs> um. Oh, do I have him in here? No, I don't. But we do have a couple of these guys right here. 
Oh, are you ready to eat again? There you go. Eat that. Eat that berry. Something like that right there, I thought would be kind of cool. We'll do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Call him free range. <laughs> Just leave him down here. Let him do his thing. Here, let's get half my strawberries. There you go, buddy. Have some strawberries. What do we got down here? Oh. Some wild female pig. A lot of animals get stuck right through here. I'm going to have to come up with something along here just to, uh, to keep the animals from falling off of here and into there. I'm thinking about doing the rail down to, you know, a certain distance. And then when we've got the ramp, that'll help block off some of this as well so they won't be quite so apt to go down in there. But we get everything in there. Rabbits, seagulls, all kinds of stuff fly in there except for the crows the crows don't seem to get stuck in there at all um what am i looking for i needed what do i need one two three four five six i need like 12 15 more of those uh, ceilings oh she's fo he's following me uh, let's put him on oh, no i want you there we go uh behavior Follow distance from me and disable. Enable wandering. There you go, buddy. Wander. Wander. Wander, chicken. Okay, back to what I was doing. T. T. And a T. There we go. And let's make another. Sure, 16 sounds really good to me. And then we need some walls as well. So, again, we're going to have to go T. T. Let's drop that stuff into our inventory. Oh, looks like I'm out of wood. It finally happened. We've made a lot of stuff today. And I got to tell you, Velma and Jeffrey, invaluable. Most definitely. You guys have convinced me of that. These, all, these guys all have a job and they are very good at it. They really are. Huge, tremendous helps. Yeah, if you're a builder, you've got to have them. All right, free range, don't go walking off the edge of this dock. I'm a little disappointed the water does this right here, but that's, it'll be okay. It's okay. It's all right. There we go. Nice. I love the fact that our ladder is even right here. That's just so perfect that it sits there just like that. Indeed. Indeed, it is perfect. Now. I was looking for something. Oh, we were looking for... <laughs> we were looking for sales. Oh my gosh, we were totally looking for sales. Uh, and I completely forgot about it because of that. Okay, let's... Um, it's okay. We've got some... Uh, we've gotten some really good work done today. Some really good work. Uh, why did I put those in here? These guys should be right in here. I've got five of these. Let's let's just place these guys really quick. Something like that right there. With us being only two off the foundation, I don't feel like I have to do anything to make this connected to this from underneath. I feel like it's it's pretty dang sturdy. Now, I am wondering if I should do any kind of a trim piece underneath this side of the dock here, along that wood right there. Or I could continue this fencing, this, this rail up there on that side right there. That might look good, too. But we do something like that right there. That's going to look really good. A chicken better be careful. Uh, okay, let's go up to the house, the lair. see if we need well let's let's make sure we've got him cleared off of all the junk he doesn't need and there we go Bluto has done a little bit of killing today not a whole lot just throwing the honey in there for now okay so we'll leave Bluto here let's bring um now let's take Bluto up let's take Bluto up let's do it Jeffrey and uh, Velma are on 
you know, attack targets, so they should be fine. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. Elevator's not here. Can't quite go in the elevator if the elevator's not here. Let's see. She had uh, 83 coin in here earlier. She still has 83 coins, so she's not had to pay herself yet. Oh, this elevator, I tell you sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's great. It's a lot of fun having the elevator, I've got to say. I, I enjoy the elevator. All kinds of great ideas have come to me while riding the uh, elevator. The death, the death vader is what it is, man. Two crew members killed here at this elevator. Nobody wants the job. One was killed and eaten by, well, not eaten, but, what were they, was she eaten by the rattlesnake? <laughs> she was killed by a rattlesnake. And the other one mutinied. Unacceptable. Look at that dock down there. Holy cow. Nice. Into the lair. Okay. Sales. Let's see. Do I have any in here? I am there. I'm going to run into them one of these days, or you guys already saw them and I didn't see them, but I there it's it's going to be somewhere here. But let's just let's just go up here and make one. Let's just go up here and make one. What do we need? Do we have what we need in here to make? Oh, we do. Looks like we have large handling sail. We don't. What are we missing? We're missing a little bit of hide. That's not a problem. We have extra hide right in here. What we have the most of, I will grab from. And it's the most common that we can get, so no big deal there. And we can make large handling sail. There we go. Fantastic. A hanging noose? Well, that's interesting. One sail acquired. Because uh, we know now that Jeffrey can fit into that area, uh, that spot. Everybody here looks like they're doing okay. No one's uh, angry or anything like that. Yeah, that is that is awesome. I'm liking the dock a lot. Oh, oh, Bluto, you okay? I tell you, I guess maybe I shouldn't worry about getting him and the cart on here because the cart never does go on here. I got a question for you. If I put another one of these elevator pads in front of him and in back of him, would they all go up at the same time? I didn't even tried that. I was wondering if I could make that bigger by doing that. Um, I think I could get away with doing one more. We could actually utilize what we've got already there. Sail. Look at you. You are pretty. She's been here all day. Since I since I got on, she's been hanging out here. There's a lot of rabbits on the island right now. It's like a rabbit infestation going on. It's obstructed by a placed structure. Okay, so it doesn't like it there. But I could... Okay, so that's that's too far back anyways. I had it here, right? So right here. Yep, it's going to hang off the back just a little bit. That's what you guys said. So I think we've got that in the right spot now. We've even got a little bit of room right here where we could uh, bring Delilah. Now, do this, this, this is probably not going to obstruct my view. No, I still have the same view. How come the... <laughs> Why does that sail look really bad? It's all torn up. Well, that's weird. It's repairing. <gasps> oh, what did I do? Did I crash into something underneath? Ooh. No. This is no longer looking right. I wonder why it took damage like that, and now it's repairing. 
No any sale open zero percent. Campus health is is also climbing. It's preparing. Hmm. Have you guys ever seen that before? I've never seen that before. I don't think I've ever noticed that on on a ship. But then again, I, I've not really looked up right away at the sales, but it is repairing. I don't see it happening. Canvas House is, is at 15000 now, but it still looks pretty bad to me. But then again, I guess we're still going up in the overall repairs as well. Let's see if it's one that gets to fifteen. Thousand, it should hopefully be in good shape. These guys are in good shape, right? Fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand, okay. Yes. We're almost there. I'm wondering if maybe there's something back here that's causing a problem. When we placed it. I'm very curious about this right now. Let me go sip my coffee real quick. That was, uh, never seen that before. I just want to see what happens here. We're 100%. Although it still looks bad. Hmm. Let me know if you guys have ever seen that before. That's really weird. It's it's staying 100% healthy. That's good. So yeah, if we put that guy there, and that one there, that's going to work out pretty good, I think. Oh boy, you know what I didn't think about? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I never took this one off. You know what I'm now thinking? Now I'm thinking I could have them both on the one side of the ship instead of on either side of the ship. I forgot I didn't take this one off yet. Um, hmm. What do you guys think of that? Would it really throw the, sh the weight of the ship off if I've got both of these on this one side does 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 the does that actually work that way I know if you overload a ship it will sink but does it cause problems if you have do you have to keep the weight balanced on the ship is what I'm wondering because I could put the second one right here like where it was and then when we pull up we have a little bit of a longer walkway here but then we could have both on this side which would make unloading so much easier. Here's the other problem I have right now, and I didn't think about this one when we were putting these in, is that uh, I whistle Bluto up. Is there enough room for him to get through here in order for me to unload uh, materials out of the cart? Come here, Bluto. Oh boy. There you go. I knew you could do it. Let's see. So we know we've got enough room here, but what about through here? Does he crash? He gets stuck. Okay, he's stuck. He can't get through there. This may ruin my plan. I had not thought about that. Yeah, I had not thought about that. These should actually probably stay up front. Jeffrey got on just fine with them up front. So we don't really need them in the back. I did want to move this one back anyways. We talked about doing that, so that's okay. Uh, but I'm going to need another cargo container. And I think, yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the same configuration I did before because it's just easier to pull Bluto up next to them to unload. Not to mention Jeffrey stands there and Velma probably stands there as well. So they would all fit in that area and that's where the cargo containers are supposed to be. I wanted them back here just for the dock purposes but 
overall, this is not going to work. Hmm. That is a shame. But at the same time, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, all right. Let's get, uh, let's get Bluto off of there. Come on, buddy. There you go. There you go. Kind of weird, but you did it. <laughs> a little bit strange, but you made it. All right, so let's make another one of those. Wow, you know what? Just to go back and do it this way, huh? Uh, I don't think I have what I need. I'm out of wood. Whoa. That was a big one. <laughs> Holy moly. Let's, let's remedy this. Hmm... It does not appear as though I thought that through all the way. Until I actually got them in and started looking at it. It's like, oh, this is not going to work. Okay. And then I was... The other thing is I'm thinking about is, man, if we had them both on the one side, it would really be... Oh, why did I... Yeah... No, because I can't get... Never mind, I can't get Bluto up into that area, so it doesn't matter. I can't do that. Velma. There you are, my dear. Perfect. Perfect. You've done well. Let's grab all of that. Put that right on in here. And we're back in business. Structure, ship add-ons. There we go. We just need one. Perfect. We did not tell her to follow us, right? No, and she does have a level, so let's give her a level. Um, I was hoping to get stamina up over a thousand on her. Ba boom! The whole earth would shake, just shake. All right, let's uh, let's move Bluto over a little bit. There we go. We don't want him getting stuck in there. So yeah, I just kind of wasted a bunch of time right there. Sorry about that, guys. It kind of clips this sail right here a little bit. I'm not too fond of that. But I don't know that there's much I can do about it either. I'm going to do that right there. Yeah, a little bit right there, but, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, that just makes sense. Because we can get the animals in here to load and unload them. So it just makes sense to have it that way. And that is so strange that that sail is ripped like that. I think that's just so bizarre. I don't understand that at all. Okay, so we got that taken care of. The long way. Sun's going down again. I'm not going to change the day length either. I'm, don't don't take it for complaining. It's just me like, God, Mom, I was just having fun. And I, I, was, I could still have fun, of course. It's, it's just dark out. Um, do I want to get involved in building the platform that we're going to go up on to unload at least this one cargo container. You know what? I'm going to hold off. What do you guys think of having the cargo containers both on this side of the ship? When we come in, we park, we've got... The ramp is going to have to start. It only has to go up once. So we could literally start it like right here. I want to be like one on this side and one on this side. Free space and then the ramp down. So when we come up, we do that and we'll make it... Oh, I'm dehydrated. Oh, I'm probably hungry too. Let's, uh, let's go get something to eat. The good food's upstairs. The garbage is on the ship. Um, if we have them both on the one side, we'd be able to ride up and do them both at the same time and not have to worry about transferring things from one to another or even bringing any animals on board to unload those items. When we pull up to an island, we could pull up to it and park with an anchor with the starboard side facing the island so the animals would be able to come up easier onto the ship. There's that option, too. Oh, my gosh. There's just so much to, to, to consider right now. I don't know. Um, I'm good with either way. The, just one way is going to be less work than the other. And what I'm trying to think about, too, is that I've got to carry all this stuff up here as well. So it's a lot of material to be uh, lugging around. It takes a little while to, um, you know, get stuff put away. Okay, and then we're going to do that again. Let's 
think we could do one more of the meat. There we go. We can actually go across the board with each of them one more time. I need more berries, though. And I've got berries in here. Strawberries, indeed. Well, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be pretty darn close. Inventory, so if we just do one more of these... And we do one more of those. We should be all filled up and ready to go. Perfect. All right, beautiful. All right, food acquired. How you doing? She's got all her gold on her still. Okay. Let's go back down. I filled the lanterns up, so we've got light on again. Oh, that looks great. I'm going to have to call an episode there, guys. Give me some feedback on the whole um, cargo container thing. Today was a kind of a grind episode, a little bit of build episode, but you can kind of see where this is going, and now we've got quite a bit of a playground behind it here to, to do that. We'll get the ramp installed uh, for loading and unloading when we get back to uh, Emerald Point here, and then uh, we'll work on maybe working out, figuring out how we're going to cover this rock up and put the building on top of the rock. I don't want to cover the rock up. I want to use the rock in part of the build. Uh, so I want to see how that works out as well. That could be kind of interesting. So I'll have to gather some resources, put the stuff together, and, you know, all that good stuff. And then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll work on it on the Friday episode. I hope you enjoyed today's. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.